time because I was hoping to try and see if we could find a crocodile and we actually have found more than one we found two now unfortunately our crocodile has disappeared under the water so there's only the one that's got its head up at the moment so the other one went under and I wonder where it's gone now I uh, thought that potentially they could be mating so I was hoping that the other one was going to pop up again and maybe it will but there is the one now I'm not sure if this is Vladimir the Impaler or Boris the Blade it's very very difficult to tell when they're just the head sticking above water and you can see how well they actually camouflage now if any of you do have any questions remember you can send them through to hashtag safari live so if you've got any questions about the crocodile or the yellies that we saw earlier even just chitwa dam and the beauty of the dam itself then you can send through your questions at hashtag safari live on twitter now i wonder where the other one was has gone when we first arrived the two crocodiles heads were almost on top of one another and they were busy sort of eye to eye it looked all very romantic it was like a one of those moments in the movies where the two sort of lovers are looking into one another's eyes and just giving them then that loving stare but it seems like maybe the other one didn't wasn't into it and has now gone underwater and moved away but it is really really quite special to see two of them together it's not often that you'll actually find them so close together and i'm pretty sure they're not males because if they were males in all likelihood you would have seen that they if they'd come that close there would have been some sort of a scuffle with one another and they were very very calm and sort of not too worried about each other's company how well it's concealed you can imagine if something came to drink here it would really battle to see this crocodile especially with this algae that's covering the surface of this water it's going to be so difficult for anyone to actually pick up any sign or any animal to pick up signs of these crocodiles and exactly like i was saying now where that other one has just disappeared it's the exact same thing if this crocodile saw any antelope coming it will just drop down under the surface and it will slowly make its way towards the edge of the water surface and it will just sit there waiting and as those animals come to drink it will then explode out and be able to grab them so this algae is actually really important for the crocodiles in terms of their hunting strategy even though you'll find there won't be as many animals drinking from this now once it gets into winter and there's very little water around the animals are going to have no choice and they will come to your water even though it's full of algae like this to be able to drink if they're desperate so in a few months time it's going to be really good for these crocodiles and you can see how motionless they are as well they just sit ever so dead still so reese all the way from scotland you want to know what male crocodiles do to attract females well Often you'll find males will rattle, and now when I say rattle, they'll open their mouth and they make this kind of gargling sound, as well as they'll tense the muscles in their back that causes the water to vibrate, and you'll get these little sort of ripples of water coming off, and that signifies to the female that this is a strong male that is territorially dominant and that is the strongest of the group in this area so you'll find as soon as they rattle the water like that and, and make their muscles vibrate and cause the water to dis be disturbed then you'll find that the female knows that that's a signal that this male is, is ready for mating there you can see the back has just come up so basically what they would do is they would expose more of their back and they would go up and down and move the muscles and water would bounce off there so it's almost like if you put water on a speaker and you play music you find the water dro droplets go up and down it's the exact same with the crocodiles and look at how they just disappear amazing if you came here now you wouldn't know that there would have been a croc there the only thing you can see is just the movement and the bubbles but otherwise it's almost impossible to know that there was this crocodile moving around in this area